hair oils which oil should i apply which oil is good for my hair can oil prevent hair loss can oil prevent baldness all these questions are frequently asked by our patients many articles get published in newspapers and magazines even recently there was one article published in one of the magazines top 5 oils recommended by dermatologists it is important to know what the oils can do and what oils cannot do and to explain these i am dr venkatram mysore dermatologist and hair transplant surgeon venkat center for skin ent and plastic surgery vijayanagar banshankari karikham road back applying oil to the scalp is part of our culture in many parts of the world particularly in india different oils are used and generally people believe that oils can enhance hair growth can prevent infections can keep the hair shining and maintain the hair for a long time this is deeply rooted in our psyche all our grandmothers if you don't apply to the scalp they will scold you why are you not applying so many times mothers when they bring their children tell this fellow he never applies oil to the scalp so what is the truth oils basically are applied to the shaft oils generally don't get absorbed by a great deal so they don't have a big effect on the root so all their effects are on maintaining the scalp maintaining the shaft now what can they do they can bring shining they can prevent entanglement prevent dryness of hair have a moisturizing effect have a softening effect make the hair easily combable prevent the action of ultraviolet light may have even antioxidant property to prevent damage to the scalp but does it have any effect to prevent baldness very unlikely oils can also have anti fungal effect to kill the fungi anti bacterial effect to kill the bacteria these are fairly well documented to some extent but treating baldness promoting hair growth is a very complicated process now that is what we are going to examine see in the hair the root is located at about 4 to 5 mm inside the scalp then it emerges from there produces the shaft which comes onto the surface and grows and it grows at different speed level for durations at different places for example the scalp hair it grow can grow up to 3 to 5 years that means about 20 cm 30 cm 40 cm even longer the hair has got a cycle growing resting and falling depending on this they have to grow this is what happens to the shaft so on these aspects then the cosmetic appearance the oils can have some effect if you like that appearance now different oils which have been used include coconut oil very popular in india particularly kerala castor oil sesame oil mustard oil almond oil alma oil which is supposed to contain vitamin c olive oil in some other countries fenugreek oil fenugreek methi in india that has got a big reputation these are all the different oils which are thought to be useful for scalp but depending on individual preferences depending on the availability and growth of the particular plant depending upon the traditions people use these oils as you know coconut oil is big time in kerala and in fact in entire south india now these oils all have the effects that i have mentioned so far and so preferring which oil is left to the person how much to apply is again left to the person 
they are basically advocated for their cosmetic appearance maintenance of the shaft combability and little bit of thickening and enhancement they may prot- give some protection against fungi in the scalp against bacteria in the scalp mild protection against the ultraviolet light these effects may be there though the documentation is very difficult and how much they contribute is also very difficult to say so as doctors what we say you want to apply you like a particular oil please go ahead not an issue but there is no special advice that you have to use this oil or that oil coming to dandruff there is a fungus called petrospora mobile in the scalp which feeds on lipids and the oils often supply those lipids so oil application may actually enhance dandruff or seborrheic dermatitis so this is what the oils can do and cannot do this is something everybody should remember now a special mention about one particular oil called fenugreek oil Fenugreek, as I said, is methi, and if you search on the internet, you will get a lot of sites which mention that it can treat baldness, that it has anti-androgen effect, that it can in- inhibit the enzyme phi alpha reductase, and thereby have a promoting effect on the hair. now there are some publications also on this in certain plant journals ayurvedic journals etc now we recently wrote a publication on this topic we found that there are about 5 to 6 publications which indeed document in the laboratory that it may have some effect on the process of baldness however there are no published data there are no well documented studies which prove that this laboratory effect is indeed shown clinically and it can treat or prevent baldness that evidence is lacking methi has been consumed in the form of oil in the form of powder you swallow it it is made into a paste and applied on the scalp and is quite popular many patients tell us i have been applying methi so what is our opinion you want to apply there is no harm certainly final scientific proof is lacking but it is quite harmless when it is applied so we don't discourage people from applying oral fenugreek that is swallowing powder is an entirely different issue again there is no proof that it indeed works small quantities probably will not matter but there are studies which show that when consumed in large quantities it can affect the clotting process now we stop such preparations before transplantation so before surgery we tell people are you consuming fenugreek orally if they say yes we tell you please stop it for 10 to 15 days so that is its significance as far as we hair transplant surgeons are concerned now the next question is is it of any harm does it cause any harm applying oil in the way that we apply once in a day once in two days it certainly does not cause any harm but if it is repeatedly oiled and massaged it can promote folliculitis too much of oil application can also lead to dandruff and sometimes infections also so that i have explained that is something to be kept in mind and secondly if you are applying oil and if you apply our lotion such as minoxidil that's an alcohol based lotion it won't mix with this causes itching and sometimes even crusting and scaling so that is not a good idea finally the importance is people seem to attach too much importance to oil and seem to prefer it over the lotions and 
preparations that we give. That is wrong. I have seen people who applied oil thinking it works. They have become bald. Not because of the oil, because they trusted the oil too much to do something which it's not capable of doing. When I asked them what treatment have you done, sir, I have tried a lot of oil. For so many years I applied oil, still I became bald. That is wrong. Apply oil for its appearance benefit, cosmetic benefit, because you like it, because it is part of culture, no issue. But do not apply thinking it will prevent your baldness and thereby not take the medicines. That part is very wrong. So please keep this in mind. You like a particular oil, please go ahead, not an issue. But understand its limitations, what it can do. And take proper medicines as per the advice of the doctor. To know more about these kind of videos, visit our website venkatcenter.com and our YouTube channel. Hope you like this offbeat topic. If you want any more subjects like that to be discussed, please let us know. Thank you. Good luck.